good everybody my name is Cole from the Cole Sports channel and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be going over my projections for the 53 main roster for the Washington football team so let's go ahead and get into it QB I think it's pretty simple Dwayne Haskins obviously Kyle Allen the guy who's always been taking the two the quarterback two spots pretty simple and then Alex Smith I think that's I mean I think everybody has the same thing and with um Washington coming out and saying that Alex Smith will be a third um, will be on the act roster. I don't expect them to uh, dress up for too many games, but he's gonna be on the roster though. Your halfback Antonio Gibson, Bryce Love, JD McKissick and Peyton Barber. And again these aren't by um these aren't by rankings and who I think is gonna be put where. Honestly I do have Antonio Gibson starting then a J.D. McKissick, and then obviously Bryce Love or Peyton Barber. But obviously, you know, Adrian Peterson was released. Still surprised about that, but hey, it is what it is. I do have him going here. But Antonio Gibson, I do believe, is going to be the starter. The next wide receiver, obviously, Terry McLaurin. I do have a Gontrell Emman, Steven Sims Jr., and um, Antonio again. Golden, Cam Sims, and Trey Quinn. Now, a lot of people here do have possibly Trey Quinn being released and having as a right here. Now with um, uh, Coach Ron, he said that he that um the the what you would call it the older players are gonna have an upper hand, obviously, since we have have no preseason in the situation that we're in. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, and I think with Trey Quinn knowing this offense and this team a lot more, I think he will get to start over as a right and as a right will be put on uh, practice squad. Now next tight end, Logan Thomas. Uh, I feel like obviously he's the clear cut starter here. Now between Jeremy Sprinkles and Marcus Ball. Honestly, I do kind of have Marcus Ball being that number two. And then Jeremy Sprinkles coming in to be that number three. Obviously, uh, you know, Thaddeus Moss. I think he's on the IR right now. So uh, we'll just wait and see what happens with him. But um, just, I mean, hopefully we can have something here with the tight ends, the flexibility, between Logan Thomas and Mark and Spall is actually really interesting. Um, in their raw talent, in their own known talent, is something that Washington really likes and they want to be able to hit the right spot on when it comes to finding their hidden talent. So let's go ahead and go to off the line. Off to tackle, I do have Morgan Moses, Jerome Christian, Cornelius Lucas, David Sharp, and Sidney Charles um, here. Obviously, Morgan Moses starting at right tackle. We are probably going to see Jerome Christian starting at left. Elise Lucas, David Sharp, and Sidney Charles obviously being backups. Now, we could see Sidney Charles on the IR, possibly the practice squad. We're just going to have to wait and see with that. But I do have him starting, especially with, the end, um, especially with um, Adrian Peterson uh, cut. I did kind of have um, this, did kind of help my decision in some way. But there you go. Now, when we go to Office Garden Center, Brendan Sheriff, Wes Martin, Rosh Piercebacker, Chase Relier, and Keith Ishmael. Obviously, Brent Sharp is, uh, Sheriff is going to be our um, starting right guard. Wes Martin is probably going to be our starting left guard. Then Ross Piercebacker uh, be a backup at guard. Chase Relier, obviously, starting center. Then Keith Ishmael being center slash guard. Um, he can rotate through all the positions right there. So I, I do have that happening. Now we'll go to our defense. Our front seven is pretty simple. Matthew Ionetis, Jonathan Allen, Darren Payne, Tim Settle, Chase Young, Montez Sweat, Ryan Carrick, and Ryan Anderson. I think, I think, I mean, I feel like everybody has the same thing here. Um, I mean, maybe Ryan Anderson instead of Ryan Anderson. It could possibly be, um, it could be, why can't I think of his name? I can't think of his name right now, but. I think Ryan Anderson, they're coming in his backup, and also could play fullback also, because he did play fullback a little bit on the goal line packages last year, so that's probably an extra edge of Ryan Anderson coming back and making the team, making the 53 men. Now, linebackers, I do have Sean Dion Hamilton, Cole Holcomb, Kevin Pia, Lewis, Sean Bostic, Thomas Davis, Kaliki Hudson. I do have Robin Ruben Foster being cut or placed on IR. Um, I mean, we've... Um, We've heard that he hasn't been doing too good and just hasn't been himself. Now if he puts him on IR and he does make it through it and maybe, you know, he might be looking better next year. Um, and 
we'll see what happens there. But I feel like Cole Holcomb is going to have a pretty decent year. Um, I saw this stat on Twitter where Cole Holcomb pretty much put up the same numbers as um, Evan White and Devin Bush last year. It wasn't the same, but it was pretty similar for two first-round picks compared to a fifth-round pick. Cole Holcomb could be one of the steals of the draft if we use it right, and I think we will be able to. Obviously, Sean Dion Hamilton, I think he's going to be starter. Kevin Pierre Lewis, his quickness, I think, obviously, can be, a, be there. John Boston, Thomas Davidson, the rookie, Kaliki Hudson. There you go. Those for the linebackers. Here we go. Now we get the quarterbacks. We got Kendall Fuller, obviously, Ron Darby, looking pretty good of what we heard from camp. Shavy Moreland, Shavy, Fabian Maroon, Greg Stroman, and Aaron Colvin. So, obviously, Kendall Fuller, Ron Darby, and Jimmy Moreland, they've all heard, they've, um, We've heard that they've all been doing pretty good. They've been around. He's been okay. And then Greg Strobel and Aaron Colvin. I think those are the two guys who aren't really a lock on the quarterback position. Because we could see, I think, James Smith-Williams. I think that's his name. Danny Johnson. So we're just going to have to wait and see here. And then safety. Then Collins. Troy Abke. Shazier Everett. And Sean Davis. Now Kevin Crew. I do have him going to the practice squad. And um, having the veteran uh, start over him. But I have seen Sean Davis not make it. And Cameron Curl will become that um, that fourth guy, but I do have Sean Davis going uh, to be probably the backup to Troy Apke. Special teams, obviously, Tressway, Dustin Hopkins, and Nate Sundberg. So that's pretty much going to go ahead and round off my 53-man roster projections. So hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.